rock and I hate being sick. Here, Kelly, I got you some NyQuil. And here's a little box of tissues. Oh, thank you, Crystal and Mickey. It means so much to me that you're taking care of me. Although I was really looking forward to spending the day counting with you two. Anything for a friend? Kelly, you should know by now that health comes first. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, uh, hot show! Isn't I... Ugh, that is 37 sneezes and one kazoon type. Uh, uh. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Pluto. I wish I could play right now, but I can't. Because Crystal and I have to take care of the count since he has a cold. Hmm. Uh, I wish my cold would go away soon. to pass the time. What is it? I have a story that I can read. Oh, wonderful! No, what? Oh, cheer up. Pluto, no, no. can you go and get the book I brought? It's in my bag. Oh, oh. Is it a fairy tale? No, it's somewhat of a fairy tale. Church! Oh, good night. 38 sneezes and two gazoon types. Elizabeth was a beautiful princess. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Unfortunately, a dragon smashed her castle, burned all her clothes with his fiery breath, and carried off Prince Ronald. Elizabeth decided to chase the dragon and get Ronald back. She looked everywhere for something to wear, but the only thing she could find that was not burnt was a paper bag. So she put on the paper bag and followed the dragon. He was easy to follow because he left a trail of burnt forests and horses' bones. Finally, Elizabeth came to a cave with a large door that had a huge knocker on it. She took hold of the knocker and banged on the door. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Well, a princess. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. He slammed the door so fast that Elizabeth almost got her nose caught. Elizabeth grabbed the knocker and banged on the door again. The dragon stuck his nose out of the door and said, Go away. I love to eat princesses, but I have already eaten a whole castle today. I am a very busy dragon. Come back tomorrow. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the smartest and fiercest dragon in the whole world? Yes, said the dragon. Is it true, said Elizabeth, that you can burn up ten forests with your fiery breath? Oh, yes, said the dragon, and he took a huge, deep breath 
and breathed out so much fire that he burned up fifty forests. Fantastic, said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath and breathed out so much fire that he burned up one hundred forests. Magnificent, said Elizabeth, and the dragon took another huge breath, but this time nothing came out. The dragon didn't even have enough fire left to cook a meatball. Elizabeth said, "Dragon, is it true that you can fly around the world in just ten seconds?" "Why, yes," said the dragon, and jumped up and flew all the way around the world in just ten seconds. He was very tired when he got back, but Elizabeth shouted, "Fantastic! Do it again!" So the dragon jumped up and flew around the whole world in just twenty seconds. When he got back, he was too tired to talk, and he lay down and went straight to sleep. Elizabeth whispered very softly, "Hey, dragon!" The dragon didn't move at all. She lifted up the dragon's ear and put her head right inside. She shouted as loud as she could. Hey, dragon! The dragon was so tired he didn't even move. Elizabeth walked right over the dragon and opened the door to the cave. There was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, "Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell like ashes. Your hair is all tangled, and you're wearing a dirty old paper bag. Come back when you are dressed like a real princess." Ronald said, "Elizabeth, your clothes are really pretty, and your hair is very neat. You look like a real prince, but you are a bum." They didn't get married after all. The end. Hmm. I guess not all princesses need a prince to be happy. Yeah, it felt like that rescue attempt was for nothing. What did you think, Count? Count. Well, what do you know? The storm really helped. No, he fell asleep because he drank some of his Nyquil. Oh, that makes sense. We should let him rest. Yeah, you're right. Come on, Pluto. Row, row. Twenty.